I had not done that, there was no way that God was going to bless me through that business. There was no way that I was going to handle the monies and the profits that we were handling from the business that we were doing. Why? Because if I then create something around my life, I'm creating a platform. And when heaven sees that platform, doors are open and God allows me, and God blesses you in that regard. And that's why it is important for you then to create avenues around your life. Sometimes you don't necessarily have to do much, just the creation of an avenue. Where you're saying, I'm creating this avenue around my life, and I'm doing this. And as I do this, I believe that God will open doors for me. And it's very, very important that you come to that place in your life where you can create multiple streams of income. Can somebody say amen? amen. It is very, very crucial, brethren, to understand that with what happened over the last five years, I think all of us, the world has realized their eyes have been opened. By the economic crisis that happened all over the world, we have realized that there is no way that a person can leave a legacy. A person can ever accumulate wealth to the levels where God desires for as long as you've got one, one stream of income. There's no way. You need to come to the place where you create this multiple stream. Set up structure somewhere. Tell someone I do this. Tell someone I can do this, I can do this. And tell a few people about what you can do, what you can offer. And when you begin to do that, you find that you allow God to bless you as a person. In 2009, I was seated in my home, I was, just doing, I was doing posters in Harare, posters that have to do with conferences and many other things that we are doing. I was just seated at, at home and somebody visits me you know, in the evening and he just saw some of the posters and some of the work that we are doing there in terms of the posters. I was on my laptop, I didn't even care about much at that, that time. And the person comes to me, I'm waiting, you know, in a few months' time. I realize that your posters that you are designing here are very good. Do you mind designing for me where to cut? And say, ah, no, 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 there's no way I can do that. I'm not into that. I told him, but the person insisted, I want you to do where to cut for me. And I said, okay, fine, we, let's do something. I'll just give you a sample. If you like, that's fine, we continue. I just did a sample, a short sample, and I gave him. The guy was impressed, very, very impressed. And I said, fine, let's do this deal. And he gave me some money and I began to do it. The first time I did it, I wasn't particularly interested. But the second time, there was someone that, that approached me that had a massive wedding, I think a massive wedding of 1,000. So I had to do more than 1,000 cards for his wedding. And so I began to do that. As I was doing that, I was just doing it casually. At that time, I wasn't even thinking much. But I began to do them, and guys were impressed, and uh, those cards were lovely. You can ask my wife, they were very lovely cards there. But that time, experience was coming. And it is very, very important that as we deal with multiple streams of income, God asks Moses, what is it in your hand, a rod? And God says to Moses, whatever you've got in your rod, that rod you'll use it to do signs. The rod that 